Okay, so here is the roof. This side is gonna be really easy because we have this low slope. I can walk on this easily. And then this is just pretty basic and easy to get to. This roof was done really poorly and we know that it's leaking. Look at that. Missing the transition flashing. There's no flashing here. Look at this. They have the overlaps on the wrong side. There's supposed to be a piece of flashing trim. Overdriven screws. Boy, tons of things wrong. So let's rip this off and see the damage underneath.
There it is, the roof is done, peeled off. I get to see what we have to work with. These eaves are very loose, springy. I don't know if you can see that. It's a giant nest in here. I don't know what it is. Nest? It looks like some of these raptor tails are just pieced on. These are probably original and somebody replaced the joist the ceiling rafters inside and just cut these off so this one goes all the way but this one right here is pieced on see what I mean now this is interesting found a couple of small eggs little tiny eggs they're hard it must be bird eggs not reptile or snake oh these feel really light I wonder if they're just dried out. They're probably hollow from being up here in the heat so long. Well guys, I got up this morning with big ambitions to get a lot of work done. And I tore off the plywood, which wasn't too bad. Those nails were a little stubborn, but I got it off. What I found underneath really killed my flow, my ambition, my motivation. I'll be honest with you. This is the first time during this whole roof project that I've truly felt overwhelmed. I probably sat here for an hour just sitting on the roof staring at it kind of trying to figure out what to do next like ugh. we just went to the store last night and bought all the lumber that we would have needed to fix the roof and get it done but I was not expecting the roof to be framed the way it was the joists are all unevenly spaced they are not 24 inches on center in fact a lot of them are more than they're like 28 inches I can't have that the joists are cut completely wrong with half of them are notched normally for a bird mouth over the wall. The other half, the bird mouth is like three or four feet wide and it's hard to explain, but let me show you. A bird mouth is where you notch the roof rafter to fit over the wall. So there's a little notch. Now, the way they did it, they notched all the way over to about, you know, here. So it tapers and you can see this, this leaves us three and a half inches maybe for insulation. Now I was gonna build up the roof higher to fit more insulation in, but I expected this to be a full two by six. I thought these were all two by sixes all the way. Now they only did that on this half of the roof. On this half of the roof, they left them full width. So we got two different systems going on here. These are more or less 24 inches on center. These are everywhere. It looks like I have to replace all the joists altogether. I can't just build them up, I have to replace them. Which means I gotta take down the ceiling in the house, but that's our living space. So it's kind of like overwhelming, the thought of having to work in our clean zone to take down the ceiling so I can replace all the rafters. That's where I'm at right now. The cool thing is, while I was up there cleaning out the insulation, I found these old pliers, and I think that was neat. Look at these. So these are a pair of Craftsman. I think it says 4507 USA. Old pliers hidden under the insulation. Somebody dropped those when they were working on our house, and now we have them. I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna evaluate. We're gonna have to go to the store and get more lumber. I'll let you know when we come up with a good plan and what we're gonna do. I've given it a lot of thought, and what we decided to do is we ran to the store, we picked up lumber for new ceiling joists. We're gonna go ahead and rip this entire thing off and replace it. We spent a lot of time cleaning, prepping, getting the roof ready to be torn off. It's ready, let's get right to the work.
right side. <laughs> you get to take a nice shower. piece of wood held that I grab onto. Hold it for a sec. Whoa. Okay. I'm kind of. Right. Oh, uh, you probably gotta slide it toward this you. Way. Yeah. Left. Uh, it's dragging on the insulation. It's literally just plywood, one ply, just plywood. Yeah, it's literally plywood. Watch out. I'm gonna stop here until I can get some new ceiling rafters in. They got a piece of wood right here, pieced in. The top plate's been chopped because it was rotted out. So I'm gonna redo this a little bit better and bring it all the way to the corner so there's only one splice. Once I get that top plate fixed, we'll start getting some rafters in to stiff it up the wall again. So I gave it a lot of thought last night and really went over everything, all my options, what I need to do to make this right. One of the things I noticed that this top plate had a lot of termite damage. There's termite damage in the corner. It is old damage. All the termites have been treated. They're gone. But I can't leave that wood. It was disintegrating. So I decided to go ahead and cut out all the top plate. I decided to cut out all the tops of the studs as you guys can see. This is the best time to do this because there's no weight on it. The roof is gone. There's no load bearing. That means I can do whatever I want. This is my chance to get it right. The only problem is that I'm not ready for this project. This is way more than I expected right now. Realistically, these back walls need to be reframed. I can't rebuild this whole addition right now. So I built a beam, a header more or less, and I'm going to be putting this beam across the whole wall where I cut those studs down. I'm going to attach it at the corners. I'm going to temporarily attach it in the middle. This is gonna carry the load of the roof. Later on, it'll help me when I go back to replace the wall with proper framing because I'll have this beam there and I could take out a couple studs at a time and work my way over under the beam 
fixing the wall. Not typical framing, but I hope that makes sense to you why I'm doing it this way. In the long run, it's gonna make for a really sturdy structure and one that's easy to fix in the future when I get to it. What did we do to our house? By the way, new rafters. Yep, we got this side done. Now he's gonna be replacing all these old ones. Somewhat. Let me explain what's going on here. I know this looks like a kind of an odd way to do the rafters. We have an odd situation, so we have to work with it. There is a bird mouth. Bird mouth cut is where it sits on top of your wall. There is one here. You don't see it because I, I basically blend it into here. What I'm doing is I'm cutting this to five and a half inches so that our soffits are five and a half inches thick and it'll match the soffits all around the rest of the house. 
it'll be very consistent and good looking and, and, and not too bulky. You don't want these huge fat roofs. But inside the house, we want it to be fat so that we can get proper insulation in the ceiling. So insulation, this is where it sits on the wall. And then we have this five and a half inch rafter tail to blend into the eaves on the, the house. So this has been a long, hard job. I got all the rafters cut and put up there. Now I have to get them lined up and nailed in where they go. They're just kind of plopped up there right now. We're making progress. I can't believe how much, how much work this back roof is turning into. I thought this would be the easy part. I'm gonna get them nailed in really nice on both ends. We're doing two foot on center. And then hopefully we can get the fascia board on, maybe get to OSB today. We definitely got to get this closed up as quick as we can. Okay guys, we lost a whole day of work because yesterday we had rain all day long. Luckily, we had a tarp on the roof, so protected everything inside the house. Today though, look at this. It's beautiful, it's blue, it's sunny. And that means we can get up here and finish up the fascia board. Coming into this project, you guys know I was a bit overwhelmed. I didn't want to deal with it, but now that it's at this stage, I'm feeling a lot better and I know that we can wrap it up. Look at the clouds though, isn't that cool? So pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put my side boards on. And this is just the overhang. It's gonna to try to match where this comes down. We just need a flat board going across here. So I built these out. This is the way I like to do it. And I'll try to show you the detail, but basically same way as we did on our porch and on the other side of the house. I just notched out this rafter right here to accept that board, which is screwed into the next rafter over. So held here overhangs on top of this one and it gives a solid structure to attach my side fascia. That looks about perfect. We finished up all the fascia and it's looking really awesome. Some of these weren't perfectly even. See this shim? I had to shim them out. Just a couple little spots. You can see right here, a little eighth inch, eighth inch. Just a couple spots. And we are ready to start putting OSB on the roof. Huge, huge moment. We're gonna start that right now. But let me tell you, this was no easy task getting to this point. Multiple trips to the hardware store, lots of lumber, lots of hardware, lots of cutting. And even though we haven't replaced the piers in the back of the house, we did go under and jack these up. And I shimmed the old piers and got this roof line about as straight as I could. That way we're working on a straight roof. We will have to re-jack it later and put new piers under it, but at least it's kind of straight and we won't have to move the roof too much. It was about two inches too low on top in the middle. So, lots of work.
weird. It's weird how each sheet, as the stack goes down, they keep getting heavier. Another day, we're back at it again, working on the roof. You can see the sun is beaming. That means it's a little warm up here, but I have to get this OSB nailed down. Last night, we got it all laid down, spaced, and tacked in. It just has a few nails in each sheet. I like to do that so that I can make sure everything's going smoothly, and then I can snap lines across the whole board and just nail it all at once. Here's the slow, tedious part, nailing these down. All the wood is nailed down. This deck is 100%. I cut the uh, the ends of the house flush right down here so that it's, you know, even. I join these together. I wanna show you what I'm doing here. So this piece joins this to this, gives it a lot of strength. This is a spacer so that it'll be out three quarters of an inch. What I wanna do is case this one out with a one by six. So it'll be the same size as this coming up. Uh, I have a, I have to put a board here, it's gonna make more sense. But, uh, so I'm gonna face it out with a one by, and it's gonna look really good, just one consistent roof line instead of this little two by four right here. When it's all done, it's gonna blend together and be like a seamless roof line, it's gonna look really good. Now, as much as I wanna start throwing decking down, I have to patch up some of these spots. I, I just don't want to leave it like this, so I'm going to pull this wood back, replace it, and some in here, and then we'll get the decking. something. Yeah. We're not exactly sure. You can just throw this right off the roof. We have that one cut. All this that you see, all that darkness, that, that's not mold. That's actually cockroach droppings on the wood. This was the rotten spot. They, find, they probably found a nice little hiding spot, damp wood, and lived in there. This looks good. 
That one's rotted, so I'm gonna go ahead and sister it up so we have solid wood. Let's see, ready? How's that look? Perfect. Picture if the whole roof looked like that. It'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Yeah. This spot is all patched up. Now he's patching over here. Now it fits. Perfect. So as usual, we're turning this into a bigger project than we thought we would. We we're fixing the chimney hole here and I noticed this twisted rafter. Look how twisted that is. That's not straight at all. Even yeah. though it's probably been that way since the house was built, I'm gonna try to straighten it out and see if I can get it to sit flat. And there it is. It's okay that it was twisted. I just wanted it straight. I want it straight. I hope it doesn't put too much stress on the wood and cause it to crack, but it's okay. Well guys, here we are back at it one more day. About to patch up this hole right here. The first thing I want to do is cut off this plumbing vent down inside the roof. So I'm going to go inside and try to chop it off. That's a cast iron pipe coming up. Quarter inch wall, very thick, very heavy duty. I'm gonna to try to hack through it. The reason being is that we will be replacing that eventually with a PVC stack. And I think it's gonna move location. It's not gonna stay exactly right there. So for now, we, we can just cut it down, get it out of the way and run the new one later. Done it. Finally time to get the sheathing on.
This is going so well. I'm so pleased with this. Our roof isn't perfect. It has a swoop in it. I don't know if I could have fixed that, but I wasn't sure how to. It's an old house, it happens. Aside from the uh, unstraight roof, these are going on very, very straight. Now we haven't nailed these yet. We've tacked them in. We're gonna go back and nail them. We're gonna snap chalk lines on the joists so we can nail them in all at once. And right now, all we're doing is filling in that last little top row. It's like a seven inch strip of wood. So I'm gonna rip those, get them done. We'll be having this on tonight. Even if it's not fully nailed, it'll be here. And we might get it nailed. Let's we see. We should get it all nailed, yeah. There it is guys, we finally, finally finished this part of the roof, getting the sheathing down. It's all nailed everywhere, swept and vacuumed, ready for underlayment. The sun is going down, but this is the perfect time to do it because we're not getting beat on now. So that sun could get really hot up here. We're gonna try to get as much done as we can, hopefully finishing it tonight, we'll see. But there it is, looking so good. And this is going to be easier than the other sections because there's no valleys. It's all just straight. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, you just have to be in charge of lining it up with the... It's good enough. Ah, oh, look at it! It's so in! That's awesome! That's awesome. I think so. I'm going to add another inch, so we'll have about an inch on each side. Okay. set up and it'll flow, it'll be fine.
Okay. Go ahead. The sun goes back up. Uh oh, the wave is hitting the ship. We're just going by the instructions on the package. Yeah. So, also. And so we didn't have to do the other stuff. Well, it's because we're going upward and we can't seem to get it. Maybe one more. You already have a pot. We should bring the work light up and just. Where's my tape measure? Um, I put it inside, I think. Why is it so sticky? A commercial, like they, it wasn't about his struggles, it was about his business idea that he came up with. Eight foot? Yeah, they say to do like short, like eight foot strips. Actually, the woods are looking really pretty cleared out. I gotta keep working on that. Yeah, I know. Even if we used all of our scraps, I wouldn't have enough. Yeah. <laughs> Maverick, put your hat on. So you guys see that we're making good progress on the roof. Obviously, we didn't get the uh, underlayment down last night like we wanted to, but we're back at it. And you might be wondering if we forgot our drip cap on the edge of the roof here, which usually goes under the underlayment. Well, we didn't forget it. We just didn't feel like doing it yet. We have it right here. And check this out. We never... Can you see this? We never uh, adhered this side, so we're just gonna flip this up. We're gonna put the drip cap on now and then nail it down, and then we'll pull this backing off, get it stuck down. The wind stops blowing. I wonder if we even needed a drip edge. I don't know. I don't After like that the metal's it, on, it won't do anything. Right. I don't like that it puts a, uh... A lump at the end of the road. Well guys, can you believe it? We almost finished, and after all this work, days and days, rebuilding from the roof up. Yeah. And we didn't have enough underlayment to finish the roof. Oh. Almost made it, but it's close enough for now. I ordered a new roll of this stuff, so 
We should be able to finish it up soon within the next week, hopefully. But look it, we have a new roof and that's awesome. It feels good to know that the house is strong and stable and dry and we're ready for renovation on the inside, more or less. Yeah. Now we will be ordering metal roofing eventually for this. We don't have it yet. All in good time. But we made a lot of progress here and this was a huge, huge job, bigger than we expected. Huge. I never expected to replace all the wood. I thought we were just gonna lay down OSB and get working. So this turned into a huge mess, but it's probably better in the end because now we have a new structure and a better structure. We went from two by six to two by eights. We're gonna have more insulation, stronger roof, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> yep. This is the end. This is what we've been building up to. Thanks for watching, coming along on this re-roof. Re and at least you guys know there's no more roofs coming. Yeah. No more roof videos until we do the metal. Yep. Uh, we did three, three sides to our house and that's enough. So I'm glad to be moving on to something else down below. A lot more foundation work and inside work. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. See ya.